Well, hello again, YouTube people. Uh, this axle is all that's left of that little dumping trailer that I had with the welfare-looking plywood sides. Anyway, but that ain't the issue. I had to re-weld this wheel because it went all crooked again. Because this strap, I had a knot. It got untied, got stuck in there. It pulled so damn hard. It bent this thing, you know, because it was pulling down. So it almost pulled it right off from the weld. So you see, I am a good welder. That didn't come off. Now, this broke, and the strap wrapped around both the wheels. The front and back there, around the, the back part where the hub is. So, because I had to weld it again, and this time I put even more heat to really melt the metals so by doing that all the grease in the bearing melted and dripped down all black and crappy so I waited till it got cold I pulled out my bearing grease I repacked the bearings front and back and put it all back together and then I thought hmm speaking of bearings I got a bearing job to do on that thing so I didn't film it because I was too discouraged. I just wanted it to be done. So, uh, on both sides, this one and the passenger, the uh, tie rod end ball joint, when I tried to open it up to have better access to the bearing and pull it off of the CV axle, to my surprise, the bolt that goes right inside of the, uh, there I am with my finger, what the hell? Anyway, that's weird. I see my finger doing it like up, down, up, down, but it's like a second delay or something. Anyway, that was bad enough. So yeah, I uh, had a lot of trouble accessing this. I spent most of my time trying to screw that stupid bolt back, you know, with the cotter pin thing. Because it kept spinning with me and I had nowhere to grab on to tighten it. So it was excruciating. I had to bang with the sledgehammer just to push the stupid thing back down. Because it's made tapered, right? It's larger at the top, smaller the more you go down. So by shoving it back in, I thought I'd help. But it's a good thing I happened to decide to do that today. Because look at my tire on the inside. Oh, that hurts. That's the belts coming all apart right here and here. Oh my God, that one hurt even more. So this was like a, a blowout waiting to happen. And I like to drive fast, you know, like 120, 130. Of course, I'm talking kilometers. So, but it is about 90 to 100 miles an hour. That's the speed I like to travel at when the weather permits and there's not too much traffic. So yeah, that was a hell of a time. Now, something I want to show you guys, since I got you all here with all your interest. Sorry about that, I'm just throwing shit away. Now, <clears throat> if you happen to come along these, See this one here? This one is complete. It's got all its parts. Now, I didn't notice until I got to the passenger side and I opened this one up. And you could see all the little bearings inside here. See? They're all there. Now, that's what was making all that damn noise that I kept hearing. But when I removed this one, I didn't notice right away because I didn't have that one next to it to compare. But all this part was still stuck inside the spindle so I couldn't get this one in and I was wondering well what the hell how do I get that out because you know pushing is one thing pulling out is a whole other story so the piece to that is back here that's that's what it looks like what's left of it stupid ring and on the inside of this ring the more modern cars have ABS brakes so, oh darn, where'd it go now? I had it right here. Oh, oh dumb me. 
Here it is. Look at that. Scrapper's gold. Uh, some stupid paper thing stuck to the copper. All right, I got it off now. Throw that back out. I mean, it's not like there's a pound or nothing. It's really thin. It's like, you know, like angel hair at Christmas. Only copper colored. But still, you get enough of these. That'll give you three bucks, you know? Like, what the hell are you going to do after collecting these for like five years? You'll have enough for a small coffee. Anyway, don't listen to me. I'm an idiot. But I'm just happy I got the job done. However, my CV axle on the passenger side popped out a little and grease oozed out of it. I just hope it, you know, settles itself back. Because if not, I'm going to be in trouble. All right, I'm going to put that copper there. Don't know where to put it right now. And I'm going to head back into the darn house and relax. Storms are coming. So I guess I finished just in time. The wind picked up and everything. See them clouds? Well, it was thunder and lightning earlier. Of course there's lightning too. But anyway. Now it's... Uh, it's around 6.30 right now. People were working at the house across the street and they finally left. So, now I get to relax. I just took most of the grease off. This is fun. Alright, enough of that. So folks, I've been trying to sell this antique washer. The rollers for, uh, you know, getting the water out of your rags, they work perfect. And the motor runs, but I don't know if it's trying to pump out water or what, but I can't make the agitator turn or anything like that. I'm not sure how that works. So, I, I mean, it hurts me to scrap it. I don't want to, but... I'll try and lower my price and see if I'll catch somebody who's interested. Anyway, so like, share, subscribe, comment, do all that stuff. And uh, see if we can get this channel up there a little. Thanks, folks.